Hi, I'm Ramji Chakra, Product Manager for Large Venue Projectors at Epson America. I'll be demonstrating the Stacking Assist function on our Pro Series projectors, which is an automated tool to speed up the stacking of two or more projectors on the same screen. In this demo, I'll be showcasing what we call Simple Stacking, which is performing Stacking Assist with just the on-screen menu and the projectors connected to each other. So no external laptop or router required. The projectors will have to be the same model. If your Pro Series projectors doesn't have built-in cameras, then you can attach Epson's optional external camera. To simplify the process, we are showing the projectors side by side, but typically you'll want to place the projectors in hanging frames and place them on top of each other. Simple stacking requires a camera to function, and if your projector doesn't include a built-in camera, you need to use uh, Epson's optional external. So here we have the EBPU 1000 series, and we're going to attach the external camera, like so, just attach it to the bracket. And then once you've done that, you'll attach the bracket from underneath to the front, like so. And once it's mounted, then you connect the USB cable to the side and then run the cable along the bottom of the cabinet, along the path here, all the way to the rear panel. For the interface panel, it's pretty straightforward. On the back panel, just connect your power cable your USB cable that comes from the external camera, and then the ethernet cable to the LAN connector. And then make sure that the ethernet cable is connected directly from one projector to the other, to the LAN connector. If you have an SDI video source, then just connect its output to the SDI input then the SDI out. If your source is HDMI, then you'll need to use an HDMI splitter to send the same image to both projectors. So just connect your source to HDMI input, and then the splitter sends the two separate signals to the projector. Once you're done with the cable connection, just insert your lens. and then power up your projector, but make sure you let them warm up for at least two minutes. All right, so we've got both projectors powered on and projecting onto the screen. Um, you wanna have your projector ID uh, settings for both of these projectors so that you're not using a remote control to control both at the same time. Also, it's smart to turn on the AV mute. You want to ensure that the DHCP settings for both projectors are set to on. So navigate the on-screen display, go to network, and then to network configuration, to the wired LAN, and then IP settings, and then there's DHCP, just make sure it's on, it is on, and then you just wanna exit and go and save your settings. Uh, next thing you need to keep an eye on is to make sure, especially if you're close to the screen or you're putting projectors side by side, you want to make sure that this projector has enough lens shift or zoom to overlap your master projector. Otherwise, this auto uh, stacking is not going to work. So the next thing to do is really just to kind of set the master projector, ensure that the image is centered to the screen the way that you want it. All right, so now we're ready to start the stacking assist function. We're back with our master projector. Go to the menu, to extended, to multi-projection, and then navigate to simple stacking. And from there, simply start, start auto adjustment. So it's now looking for the uh, projector. So it found it and it's got these patterns here. And it's gonna ask you to basically lens shift the projectors green on top of the magenta. 
So you need to uh, go back to your remote control with your uh, remote ID and then go to lens shift and then lens shift so that the green goes roughly over the magenta. You may also need to do uh, a zoom. So when you feel like it looks okay, then just go back to the master projector and then click okay. There you are, you get this message that says simple stacking complete and the two projectors should be stacked and you've got this, uh, this stacked grid and now you can switch from that to your source content and you'll have two or more uh, projected uh, projection onto the same screen. So you just press escape to get out of that uh, grid at the end of simple stacking and I put both projectors here on mute. So if we turn on the master, that's just the master projector image and then we press AV mute and then you can see how much brighter the image is. So that's really the benefit of stacking. You get a brighter image by putting the projected output of two projectors onto the same screen. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in how Epson's automated simple stacking can help you utilize your existing projectors to create a very bright image through stacking.